folks, I'm Josh Alexander from Beer, Bush and Boats. Today you will find myself at Lostock Dam. Lostock Dam is a small dam located about three and a half hours north of Sydney. Today I'll be fishing with my good friend Kurt and we will be targeting bass. The whole lake is limited to about eight knots. This is because of all the submerged structure under the water. However, this structure can provide great opportunity to catch the bass. You can also catch catfish and eel in here. Watch today and we'll do the best for you. After our two and a half hour drive, we have finally made it to Lostock, only to discover calm still water. We had the boat in, drinking beer and catching fish. Sunset bass, look at that, first one lost off. He's probably about a uh, 20, 25 centimetre. Jump straight on a um, tailor made through about 10 feet of water. Not bad. Still the best, mate. Fucking little fellas are aggressive, aren't they? Well, he's not. A, he's not fucking Noah's Ark, but. That'd be bigger, that one. We got ourselves a nice little uh, bass, third one for the day. That's alright. Hasn't been 10 seconds since our last fish. And uh, we're on again. Look at that. He's a nice looking healthy little, little specimen this one here. And we're on again. That's about the average size you'll get the bass in lost off them and they do get bigger. But for an all-round size, hanging on by a thread, can't complain with that. Nightfall was with us very quickly. After catching several bass, we have made our way in for the evening, rolling out our swags under the stars for an early morning start. You up to a young fella. Wanna have a flick? Well for day two of our little fishing trip, it's a cold morning, but we're certainly going to find him and we'll pull him up. We're here at Lostock Dam still and we're going to do a bit of trolling this morning. We found last night with the trolling we caught six bass. Seven. Seven bass. We caught seven bass from trolling, so um, that'll be our tech technique this morning. We'll see what we can get for you. Be a gear on the back. Oh, you just pull the pulling fish in if you yeah, heavy, heavy gear. You just skull sucking them in. <laughs> Winching them. Like a like a worn winch. You might as well just put a worn winch onto a hook. Yeah. Seven o'clock and it's uh beer time. First fish of the morning, he's coming up, he's got a bit of a run. 
Take it nice and slow, bring him up. He's got a couple little tail kicks too. Let's have a look at him. Oh, he's a nice looking fish. Oh, now that's a nice bass. That one's going on the leaderboard. That one is going on the leaderboard. A nice, good bass. And that's why we come out the lost stock here. It's a nice, healthy specimen. Let's, um, say goodbye to this little fishy. Some nice little kickback in First one in the morning, Kurt? Yep. No, no colour yet. No colour. Fucking hell. That might be a big bass, man. Oh, he's a big bass. Ooh. That's a big fucking bass, man. Hey. That's that's what we come out here for, mate. That's a good 40. Fuck yeah. That's a good 40, mate. Well done. My buddy Drew will be a little bit little bit jealous of you today. That's a good bass. Dragging back in the piss. Woohoo! How'd that feel? That's a good one. Good one? Bass. in the deep water and um, the old stump jumper again and he's taking that at about 50 feet so they're obviously swimming around a little bit. Unfortunately it's time for us to go. It has been a pleasant morning trolling for bass but soon enough it was time for our last beer and to retrieve the boat. We had to get back on the road to beat the long weekend traffic. It's been a very interesting episode today. We've caught around nine bass in total throughout the night and through to the morning. We've trolled around for a little bit longer but we couldn't catch anything else. So we've decided to head back home before we beat the long weekend holiday rush. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we're going to see you next time on another Beer, Bush and Boats. o'clock and it's uh, beer time. <laughs>